Hi there, welcome to Sir Matigo channel. Today, I am going to discuss oblique triangles. To solve oblique triangles, we will use laws of sines and cosines. Let's begin with the law of sines. Given the oblique triangle ABC at the right, the side opposite to angle A is called side A. The side opposite to angle B is called side B. And the side opposite to angle C is called side C. The law of sines is given by A over sine A is equal to B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. You can have your own mnemonics to memorize this formula. Law of cosines. Given the oblique triangle at the right, if side A is unknown, this will be the formula. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2 times B times C times cosine A. If side B is unknown, this will be the formula. B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2 times A times C times cosine B. And if side C is unknown, this will be the formula. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times B times cosine C. When are we going to use the law of sines and the law of cosines? We are going to show this by the following examples. Given side C is equal to 10 centimeters. Measure angle A is equal to 32 degrees. And measure angle B is equal to 84 degrees. Solve A and B. Notice here that the given parts form as ASA or angle side angle. So we will use the law of sines. Our solution. Only one angle of this triangle is unknown. We first solve this angle. And we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So the unknown angle is equal to 64 degrees. Since we have all of the angles, we can start solving A using the law of sines. To solve for A, we have this formula. A over sine A is equal to C over sine C. Let us now substitute the values. Using our scientific calculator, we have the values of sine 32 degrees and sine 64 degrees. And let us use cross multiplication to solve for A. Finally, A is equal to 5.9 centimeters. Now let us solve B using this formula. B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. Let us substitute the values. Using the calculator, we have the following values of sine 84 degrees and sine 64 degrees. Using cross multiplication, the value of B is equal to 11 centimeters. Next example. Given B is equal to 11 centimeters, measure angle A is equal to 32 degrees, and measure angle B is equal to 84 degrees. Solve A and C. Notice that the given parts of the triangle form as SAA or side angle angle. We will use the law of sines for this. But we need to complete first all the angles. To solve the third angle, we have to use the sum of the angles of the triangle, which is 180 degrees. Let us find now measure angle C. And that is equal to 64 degrees. Since we already have all the angles, we can start solving A and C. To solve A, we have this formula. A over sine A is equal to B over sine B. 
substitute the values and find A using cross multiplication. Finally, A is equal to 5.9 cm. Using the same procedure, we can find C. B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. Substitute the values and we apply the cross multiplication. Finally, the value for C is equal to 10 cm. Another example. Given B is equal to 11 cm, C is equal to 10 cm, and measure angle B is equal to 84 degrees. Solve A and measure angle C. Now, in this triangle, we say that the given parts form as SSA, or side-side angle. We will use the law of sines for this. Before we can solve for A, we need to solve first all of the angles of this triangle. And now we will use this formula. B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. In this formula, only one part is unknown, that is angle C. So we can solve angle C. Let's substitute and find measure angle C. Using our scientific calculator, this will be the value for measure angle C. That is 64 degrees. Now we need one more angle. So we will use the angle sum formula for the triangle. And we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So we have this formula. We substitute the given values of the angles and we have this. And finally, measure angle A is equal to 32 degrees. Since we already have all of the angles, it's easy now for us to solve for A. To solve A, we use this formula. A over sine A is equal to B over sine B. Substituting, we have these values. We use the scientific calculator to find the sine 32 degrees and sine 84 degrees. By cross multiplication, we find A is equal to 5.9 centimeters. Once again, we will use the law of sines if the given parts of the triangle form as ASA or SAA and SSA. Law of cosines. When do we use the law of cosines in solving the unknown parts of the oblique triangle? Here is the answer. We use the law of cosines when the given parts form as SAS and SSS. SAS means side angle side or two sides and the included angle. The included angle is an angle between the two sides. You can see it in the figure at the right. It is important to use the uppercase letters for the angles of the triangle and the lowercase letters for the sides. If in case the unknown part is A or side A, use the first formula. If the unknown part is B, you can use the second formula. And if the unknown part is C, you can use the third formula. Another one, we can use the law of cosines if the given parts form as SSS or side, side, side. Does it seem difficult to memorize? In fact, these formulas come from only one cosine rule. The rule states that the square of the length of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides minus the product of twice the two sides and the cosine of the angle between them. Let's have examples using this rule. Based on the given figure at the right, find all the unknown parts. 
Again, we refer to our cosine rule in answering this problem. The unknown parts in this figure are x, y, and z. But let's start answering side z. z squared is equal to the square of 8 plus square of 10 minus 2 times 8 and 10 times cosine 36 degrees. Let us now solve z for this new equation. 8 squared is 64, 10 squared is 100, and 2 times 8 times 10 is 160, and cosine 36 is 0 0.809. So our z squared is equal to 34.6. We want only z, so z is equal to square root of 34.6. And it is equivalent to 5.9. We solved all sides of the oblique triangle. We will now solve the two angles, x and y. We should take note that the given parts form as SSS. We can find all the angles with this information only, even if 36 degrees is not present. So let's start answering the value for x and y. To solve for x, we start from its opposite side, that is 10. So 10 squared is equal to 8 squared plus 5.9 squared minus 2 times 8 times 5.9 times cosine x. From this equation, only x is unknown, and uh, that is what we are looking for. Now let's perform the operation. 10 squared is 100. 8 squared is 64. 5.9 squared is uh, 34.8. 2 times 8 times 5.9 is 94.4. And we have cosine x. 64 plus 34.81 is 98.81. Bring down the rest. Transpose 98.81 to the left and it becomes negative. So we have 100 minus 98.81 is equal to negative 94.4 times cosine x. And uh, simplifying, we have 1.19 is equal to negative 94.4 cosine x. Divide the whole equation by negative 94.4 and we have cosine x is equal to 1.19 divided by negative 94.4. Dividing these numbers, we have cosine x is equal to negative 0 0.0126. x is equal to inverse cosine negative 0 0.0126. You press your calculator shift, then press cosine, and uh, press negative 0.0126. And your final answer is 90.7 degrees. Let us solve for y. Opposite to angle y is 8. So, our equation will be 8 squared is equal to 5.9 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 5.9 times 10 times cosine y. 8 squared is 64. 5.9 squared is 34.81. 10 squared is 100. 2 times 5.9 times 10 is 118 times cosine y. Add 34.81 and 100. That is 134.81 and bring down the rest. Transpose 134.81 to the left. And we have 64 minus 134.81 is equal to negative 118 cosine y. And we have negative 70.81 is equal to negative 118 cosine y. Cosine y is equal to negative 70.81 divided by negative 118. Cosine y is equal to 
0 0.6. Y is equal to the inverse cosine 0 0.6. And finally, Y is equal to 53.1. We have solved the triangle.